Today I'm going to talk about a way to update older microscopes or even new modern infinity corrected microscopes. Old microscopes typically were set up for finite tube length of 160 or 170 millimeters. Uh, many of these microscopes have been put in surplus due to the fact that uh, certain parts may be damaged certain parts may be missing. Uh, they can all be updated and we believe uh, in the RRR, reduce, recycle, and reuse category for optical microscopy. So here we have a, a first generation Zeiss axioscope upright biological microscope. The key component is a brand new USA made product from InFocus. This is uh, uh, excuse me, from Infinity Photo Optical in Boulder, Colorado. The product is called InFocus, and the prime mission for this component is to actually replace the body tube with eyepieces and go directly to a camera. Now, uh, the InFocus module has a special optical component here that attaches to the bottom. This is called the Z-type component. It's an optical lens set up just for the Zeiss ICS objectives. And to do that attachment, we simply use an adapter that comes with the component when ordered for the microscope in question. So there are bayonet adapters like this one for the Zeiss, the Nikon, the Olympus, and the Leica infinity corrected microscopes. Now we also have adapters with a long tube on them that has a bayonet flange again for the various makes of microscopes that can be put on a really old microscope that's set up for finite tube length optics. Uh, this goes on and then we can put the in focus on top of that, simply screws on, and then we can use any of the modern objectives, infinity corrected type, with an old 160 tube length microscope. So again, the idea of this in focus component is to uh, replace binocular and trinocular body tubes. Many times you'll, you'll find uh, bare bones microscope stands on eBay, LabX, your own surplus uh, warehouse. Uh, People put microscopes aside because usually uh, the lamp is broken, something's frozen, say on the mechanical stage, uh, someone stole all the objectives. Uh, there's a variety of reasons, but the main thing is we want to bring these old microscope stands back to life, and we can do that by getting them prepared properly by a good microscope mechanic. We can add LED illumination to these old microscopes. We can add new optics to old microscopes, and now we can add the uh, uh, in-focus module that again replaces the trinocular body tube. It simply screws onto this adapter we put in place. We secure it with a screw, and one of the, the more popular cameras that's out there uh, being used in microscopy is the so-called small format or C-mount camera. Uh, here's a small format format C-mount camera. Uh, you can get these with Peltier cooling. You can get them with uh, high definition, uh, uh, real time, uh, 2K or 4K high definition display. And here you can see we've got the small format CMAT cam camera mounted onto the microscope. There's a reference point on the front here that's going to be hard to see, but we turn this ring here, and when we use mid-range dry objectives or even oil immersion objectives that are typically corrected for a number one and a half or a 0.17 millimeter thick cover slip, with this ring we can compensate for aspheric aberrations that you normally would get 
if you don't know the thickness of the cover slip or if there's a mounting media below the cover slip that is actually making that interface between your sample focus and the top of the cover slip uh, much thicker than 0.17 which is what the lens was corrected for. So this ring right here allows you to use your mid-range dry objectives, your 20x, 25x, 40x, 50x, uh, 63x dry objectives especially. And it solves the same uh, uh, problem that a cover glass correction collar would provide. Uh, so if you have objectives that do not have a cover glass correction collar, you can use this ring here to set the uh, <coughs> cover glass thickness properly uh, for the objective uh, to give you the best resolution possible without a spheric aberration problems. So here it is mounted with a C-mount and of course these days many people will want to attach to the microscope their DSLR camera. So if we take off this C-mount adapter ring off of the end focus we can very quickly then put on a component which is a 2x adapter, it's a 2x optical component that goes on and now with this we can use uh, up to full frame 35 millimeter format cameras, the so-called large format cameras such as uh, cameras that are designed to hold film where the film frame for 35 millimeter is 24 by 36 with a 43 millimeter diagonal uh, or any of the uh, uh, popular DSLR or MILC cameras that are on the market with interchangeable lenses. So the first thing you need to put on to the NTX is the so-called T-mount. Here's a Canon T-mount. Here's a Leica T-mount for my Leica film camera. We simply thread this on to this M42 thread, like so. We then get our camera body, look for the red dot to match up. Bring it around, lock it in place. And now we've adapted a full frame 35 millimeter film camera, but keep in mind that this could today be a DSLR or a milk camera as well. So we now use the DSLR camera, for example, with the USB out to go directly to a computer and do all of our focusing and all of our microscopy from the computer display. We don't need eyepieces anymore. Many labs don't even use the eyepieces. They just do their serious photography. And this, this converts a rather uh, run-of-the-mill microscope stand into a dedicated photo microscope. You wouldn't want to do this for routine viewing. This, this is really for photo microscopy and serious digital imaging uh, uh, type work, such as Z-stacking, for extended depth of focus and things like this. So keep in mind this way to bring old microscopes back to life, put new optics on, uh, save your department a lot of money, and just buy a in focus for your particular microscope uh, make and model, and we can give you guidance on that. So thank you for your attention, and. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you.